Happy New Year 2021, even though that was two weeks ago. It's been a while since we posted a video. We're doing some back end stuff. I don't want to bore you with, but hope you had a safe and sound New Year's Eve. And looking forward to 2021. It can't get any worse than 2020, right? So it has to get better. Anyways, we have a lot of things going on, a lot of plans, even though those plans might not follow through as we experienced in the last one. So hopefully, I can share some of what things are coming up here. Although we want to start by backtracking a little bit for the last two weeks what we've been up to. First, we went to Cebu City. Okay, made it to Cebu City and it's always really fun to come back here because we can always see the progress of this new massive bridge. We have a lot of things to do here. We're gonna do some uh, monthly shopping, groceries, follow up on Jake. He's completed his vaccinations for the virus. So we do like a three month uh, safeguard for the ticks now. Uh, a couple of errands, I gotta buy some camera stuff as well. So it's gonna be a full day in Cebu City and then we drive back to Bobo. Look at that, guys, it's so cool. It kind of feels strange living in the Philippines, developing country, but well, this is like next level stuff right here. Oh, we're going into the tunnel, Jake. We're in the tunnel. Oh. Three, two, one, warp speed. Oh, what happened to the rope? Because election is coming. Lectures coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just Anyhow. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> that what that's what happens when the lectures are guys. Suddenly the roads just poof. They they get destroyed. I wonder why. So weird. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow, anyway, Jig Jig, are you excited for your vaccination? I'm ready to do the animal hospital. Jiggy boy. How are you? Blood test again, Jake. Remember when they um, last blood work, right? Before he was so excited, sniffing everything, but now he knows what's going on. So he just lays down and waits. He knows exactly what's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay. It's for your own good. Exactly. We're gonna get double vaccination, but not for the corona one. Sorry. It's no for dog yet. <laughs> That's for rabbits. Oui. Oh, rabbits, not the Rona? No. No Rona vaccination. No. Are you ready, Jake? Are you ready, Jake? I love Jake. <laughs> okay, so he'll be receiving three shots. So this is the rabies. Okay. No reaction. <laughs> Good boy. Hey Christine, up to know you! <laughs> you guys remember that place? We well, lived for quite some time. We had to pick up some stuff. I was always in a great shape living here because of the stairs. Every day, multiple times. Up and down. Alright, super good that we came back to my old home. There's so much stuff here that I'm going through and it's also really nice to bring up some cool memories. Fighter boys! Also, found some more documents about my car, so we're gonna bring that over to Hyundai. Here's all my uh, paperwork stuff. It just If you live in the Philippines, you're gonna be loaded with paperwork. And uh, a really special one, this is my immigration form. This is my residency. So. Okay, fast forward about two hours, we picked up um, my renewal for the car, the OCRC I think it's called. I did it on like a premium service by Hyundai, which means they're doing them uh, all the paperwork for you because I told them I don't have time. I have so many things to do in the city, so that costs a lot, like 6,700 pesos to update my uh, ORCR. 
So I'm probably not gonna do that next year, but we're just in a rush. So uh, there is option of saving a lot of time because when you do these renewals, you usually have to take the whole day driving to the emission test. You can wait in a line for hours doing that. Then you have to do the insurance, and then you have to go to the LTO. So it's a whole day thing, but I managed to scramble it down into like a 20 minute. But then you have to pay the price for that. Anyways, uh, next stop, F8 photo. Gonna meet up with my friend Ryan, pick up some camera gear. And then to the next camera shop, so uh, see you guys soon. And now we're in SML, we're gonna get some food and one more shop. What did you buy? Wow. I feel like I'm in America right now. <laughs> After shopping so many times in Gaisano in the province and then coming to SNR here in Zipu City, my eyes were like entering Walhalla with the Vikings. Unlimited amount of American food. <laughs> Told ya. <laughs> it's amazing. Did you buy something for Jay? Of course. Yes. <laughs> Jay! <laughs> And I get this excitement because back home in Iceland, we in the shopping malls as well, we used to have American Day, so once or twice a year, the grocery stores brought in all the American products. So it's very exciting to get something American, but we can get that every day here in the Philippines. And it's another, I told ya. Where's my ID? Oh yeah, we had to get a membership. Yeah. <laughs> now, I only think I drank five times. A handful of times last year I only remember one time with the fighter boys my birthday and then a few other times I had like one beer but this is my all-time favorite drink of the Philippines Don Papas it's a premium rum from Mount Kanlaon one of my favorite places in the Philippines in Negros so it's probably gonna take me a few years to finish that one good that's a lot huh? oh look at this guys Coca-Cola Cherry! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna teach you to it. What? Tortillas! So we can not only put chicken inside them or steaks, if we uh, catch a fish, we can use a fish. Oh, shrimp! Yeah. One of my favorite seasoning, I used to have these all the time made in Iceland. Weber, the best grills you can have. And some orange juices. Uh, sometimes I feel like the juices here are just a little bit too sweet for me. This one is more natural. It's 3.30 p.m. We've been on it since 5 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We've got to do the laundry. About every two weeks. I was just about to do laundry and we got delivery. It's all mine. <laughs> LBC. No, GNT. Oh, okay. The other company. Not Ninja? No. Ninja is pretty cool too. But the nice thing about being in the province far out of the city is delivery. It's so cheap in the Philippines. It's crazy. Like I ordered stuff on Lazata and the shipment is just it's mind blowing. I don't I don't understand how they make money out of delivering. Sometimes it's like a few cents, a few pesos just to deliver it to you. I'm gonna come on a tricycle. Bye bye! Cheap! Yeah. My god, expensive! What? I just said it was so cheap. <laughs> it's, it's my heat gun. Why did it not put. Wait, well, what do you have to pay for? The price of the yeah. product or the because delivery? The COD. Cash. Oil. Ah, so you're paying it right now? Yeah. For the item? Yeah. Well, then it's not expensive the deliver, delivery, right? Yeah, no. Ah, okay, cool. So you can even do that, guys. Cash on delivery. Cash on delivery. That's mind blowing. Yeah, you just order something. The shipping is just only 100 pesos. There you go. Mm. Morning. Oh. Morning. Oh. Laundry time. 205. 205. Think that was. Five or six kilos, 205 pesos, so four US dollars. And it's gonna be ready in about three hours. Awesome. <laughs> I've seen those before. Yes. 
for your artwork? Yep. Cool. And the, no the different noses because different noses, different waves. All to make different shapes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <I'm laughs> You're not a Filipino unless you can do this. Yeah, just do nothing. What do you call it again? Uh, Punko. Punko. I also filmed this video four days ago, but then I found out the new lens that I just bought in Sipo wasn't updated, so it was, everything was flickering, out of focus, etc. So I'm doing it again, and I went over with Sherlyn. What was her highlights in 2020? And she said, Malapascua. <laughs> I said Batanes, diving specifically. Sailing through the seasons. So 2020 was really great year in terms of scuba diving, getting better at it, learning more about the ocean, upgrading our gear, upgrading the quality of the video, so I'm very proud of that. And that's something I want to strive towards to in 2021. And speaking about diving, last year, you guys might have known my bucket list here in the Philippines. The number one is Tupataha Reef. That got canceled, of course, and I just hope and hope uh, that's gonna happen this year, but I have my doubts. I have basically secured my spot to do it, but the main problem now is these boat companies is to gather enough customer to fill up a boat so they actually make any profit. So I kind of have doubts that's gonna happen again this year. And that season is the summertime, like March till June, July. Some of our plants here are growing very healthy. This is our Mulanga tree. We got uh, new branches, some leaves are popping out. I guess the root system is expanding in the ground. So hopefully we can harvest that soon. I'm also looking forward to in 2021 to harvest the manga tree. It's so big. Can't wait to use my white monkey skills. You are not. I do apologize if there's a lot of wind noise, but it's such a good feeling to be outside for the first time in four days. There's been floods, flash floods, landslides pretty wild rainfall. My family was actually supposed to come to the Philippines last year and the year before. First there was the uh, Christmas time but it was too expensive to fly and then of course the COVID. They're actually trying to get their money back from their flights so I think they're actually they, they can't get refund on it or somehow they're they've been trying and trying and unfortunately that money is lost I think. I've talked to them of course a lot and they're saying uh, that the first thing they're gonna do is to come to Philippines. They're so excited, they really want to explore it and, uh, and I, know, I never announced anything about it. I just wanted it to be a surprise or something. So we're still waiting on that but they're doing all good back home. Nice to talk to them in the freezing cold. <laughs> Even though it's rain, I can appreciate it. Gloomy days, a little bit of chillness and uh, I, I like those days as well. However, we have some plans to go around southern Visayas, sort of speaking. That only means the areas around us very closely. So we got Necros and Bohol, of course. We want to go explore. So we're just waiting on a couple of things to finish back here. We're doing a lot of uh, computer stuff as well. Waiting on a, a new underwater camera. So uh, once we get that, we're going to go to the next location. But uh, we don't want to rush anything. We don't want to force any content out there. You guys know I do everything with passion. So I might do this once in a while, update vlogs or my life here. But it mainly comes down to what I'm proud of and what I really like to film. That's what I put on YouTube. So um, sorry if there hasn't been any vlogs lately. Now a lot of people have their New Year's Eve resolution. Getting fit, stay healthy here. I'm probably complete opposite. I went on to SNR and you, as you saw, and we bought a whole bunch of fatty foods. <laughs> Maybe I'm gaining some weight finally now, but 
once I get back on the road doing my stuff, doing my thing, you know, that usually just goes away automatically. So I don't really have any New Year's resolution. Most important thing to me, of course, is just happiness, chase your passion. So that's just what I'm gonna continue to do. What are you up to, Jake? Did you find something in the corner? Nope. Just smell, smell, smell. Okay, so we also went to Allegri a couple of times and it's very nice. So, wow, the wind is really coming in. Must be a rain very soon. All right. My friends in Dab Allegria, we go there a couple of times and uh, do some diving. But what's really nice about the place now. They've managed to accomplish something for the greater good of the Philippines. They established marine sanctuary. And that is like the number one thing to conserve the ocean and make the species and fish flourish, expanding. And basically what that means, even though we're protecting some area of the ocean and people not allowed to fish there, what happens really is the fish actually manage to grow and populate more. So what you see here a lot of time in the Philippines where there is marine sanctuary, you have fishing boats just outside of those sanctuaries by the buoys because they know the fishing is coming out of that sanctuary. So they've established that, which I'm really proud of them to um, have acquired because it's a lot of process. Hey, oh, someone is here. I love these doors, guys. By the way, you can get them on Lazada, super cheap. It's a magnet Shoppy. one. Oh, choppy. Same, same. Come here, Jake. As simple as that. Come here. Open and closes automatically. Come here. Pop up. Can we see a sneak peek? Oh, sure. oh, wow, the big one. Come outside. Wow. <laughs> Look at the detail. Let me go closer here. Check that out. So it's not yet finished, but this is how it looks like. It's a coffee table. Nice one. So we got to get the feet, the foots. Hi. Wait, who's there? 
Since it's the first vlog of 2021, I think it's also very important to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that's been continuously watching us, supporting us, donating to charities, do the things what we do, you know. Four years, five years ago, you know, could never imagine where I'm at right now. Like, I'm able to do what I really love and, you know, I keep saying it, even if I was a millionaire, I still would vlog, I still would want to do what I do because I love documenting, I love cameras, picking them up and shooting the experiences that I have. And I know that because I tried the, uh, two Christmases ago, I went with my grandma to Thailand and uh, I did like a small trip exploring without a camera, without a vlog and it was horrible. I mean, <laughs> not horrible but uh, it's a work exaggeration. I did enjoy it. And same thing here, when I'm diving and I don't have a camera, I don't enjoy that much. Uh, I don't know if I'm just so privileged of uh, the amazing nature that we have here in the Philippines or not, that I get like, I, I, I'm disappointed with the dive if, I don't, if I'm not able to film it and showcase it. I guess that's what I'm trying to uh, spin out of my brain right now. So what I'm saying is, Everything I do with exploring and adventure, I love filming it. And without a camera, I guess I just don't enjoy it that much. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for 2020. And I know 2021 is going to be better. I miss about having a dog is that we really can't take him out for a walk here unfortunately in mobile there's just stray dogs loose dogs everywhere and it's so risky to walk them out there even if you're jogging or running it's kind of scary because multiple times here I've been running and then I've been surrounded by dogs like barking rah, rah, rah. it's really scary so that's the only disadvantage of having a dog here but luckily we have gates to keep him inside and roam around free. So as of now, I'm very happy with what I do and my videos, how I produce them, how I create them. But I also want to always uh, take it up a little bit further. And I want to throw the question back to you guys. What do you want to show or know more about the videos that I film? Is there something that you wish you have known better or get maybe even more information about the places that I go? Like I said, stray dots. <laughs> Like there's no control of these dogs here. It's a very sad sight. I wish there was some control over them. But um, anyways, I want to throw the question to you guys. What do you want to see better in the videos? Like, do you? I feel like sometimes I haven't shared enough information about the places that I go. For example, how to get there, the cost of the trip. Uh, well, I guess that the two main things that I kind of haven't covered. I always showed like the good, the fun parts. But maybe I feel like I have some more information to share about the places we go to. So comment below what you want to see better in the videos about the destinations I go to. And to end it off here real quick, uh, the next video is going to be really cool. We're going to be meeting up with a long lost brother of the Fighter Boys that uh, has taken his time offline a little bit since the pandemic. So uh, we actually met up with him a few days ago. That was very nice. And also, we do plan to go to Darwin or Bohol. So if anyone in Darwin, if you know a place for us to rent, maybe for a month, please let me know, email me or send me a message. Uh, I haven't found anything online to rent. So if you know a place in Darwin, please let me know. Also Bohol, of course. Regarding opening Philippines, I don't know, man. It, things change all the time. Give it a year, I would say. And then I uh, might start considering coming here. But in the meanwhile, we'll continue sharing some positive stuff. Until next time. Peace, guys.